uh, dear friends uh, like my previous lectures on various process instrumentation system uh, this time also i want to show you something practically regarding uh, the vibration measurement in the process industry uh, because uh, vibration measurement is a very vital part uh, in instrumentation if you are um, a instrumentation lover or if you are uh, working with any um, measurement or instrumentation system uh, so these are the very sophisticated part of instrumentation and process control technology uh, so part by part <coughs> like vibration and like humidity and like other factors which may affect our process is a vital factor for that purpose we have to take care of we have to minimize the uh, error percentage in uh, all these type of uh, variables uh, for that purpose i would like to today i would like to introduce, uh, introduce the various uh, steps to analyze the vibration and also uh, the process uh, to measure the vibration the uh, output of it how we are measuring the uh, vibration mm, what are the factors uh, what are the root mean square of the vibration all these things we will discuss in this lecture uh, so first of all before i start regarding vibration uh, measurement system i would like to introduce that what is vibration uh, because uh, uh, we have learned in uh, class 10 11 12 uh, science uh, classes so we have to learn about the vibration uh, is an oscillation of an object so that is the basic thing what we have learned in our school or in our uh, first year second year engineering colleges but in uh, depth uh, if you want to go the depth of this uh, system actually what is vibration actually so we have to know the first basic thing of this vibration system for that uh, vibration is the oscillation of an object about its static position vibration typically uh, as an as the case of a speaker you have seen in your room or home that uh, you are you are having some mic or speaker system uh, or diaphragm type uh, or produce sound that produce sound acoustic sound however the vibration are the necessarily desired as the case of air conditioning equipment introducing your vibration which propagates through the building through a building okay vibration is measured with an accelerometer piezoelectric accelerometer an accelerometer is a device that is securely attached to some means to a surface and produce an electrical output like mini volt or whatever the output signal in form of electrical signal which is proportional to the surface of the acceleration surface acceleration means uh, suppose this is the piezoelectric accelerometer and uh, this is the surface and uh, this is the output from here and we are hitting this surface and it will generate some waves or some type of mechanical displacement of which can be sensed through the uh, output of the uh, sensor in mean of uh, electrical signals okay and the signal is measured by a meter and can be expressed in terms of acceleration velocity or displacement whatever um, it is uh, when making a vibration the frequency of interest interest generally ranges from one hectare to one kilo hectare. this is the main part and we have to actively um, in our device we have to set uh, suppose uh, for any rotating device i am talking about you have to set the frequency at what frequency your um, that machine will be get tripped uh, to uh, for the safety purpose of the equipment and that will become uh, when we are talking about the analysis of the uh, vibration system uh, early detection of messy uh, machine uh, mechanical fatigue and breakdown is also part of um, the, um, vibration analysis uh, <coughs> all rotating equipment vibrates to some degree okay uh, suppose you have seen in uh, uh, if you are uh, gone through any electrical motors in process industry uh, the old bearing which are connected to the shaft uh, due to the friction uh, between the shaft and the bearing ball create some time of, some types of vibration and component reach the end of their product life they being to vibrate more dynamically and in distinct way ongoing monitoring of equipment allows this sign of wear and damage to be identified well before the damage comes to an extensively problem for that purpose we have to uh, actually you can also say that a vibration measurement system is a uh, system which uh, can safely uh, uh, say which uh, uh, which can 
save our equipment or which can uh, make the life long life of our equipment so accurately monitor the health of your plant machinery okay uh, with this type of uh, measurement system what we have what will go to achieve this is generally known as condition monitoring when used correctly it can be used in huge and saves when com compared to traditional measurement traditional maintenance method traditional maintenance method are predictive component are replaced on a fixed schedule uh, fixed schedule that mean uh, component are uh, re uh, replaced in a fixed schedule whether on or not and reactive maintenance in which components are required only after they have broken or not, not okay so uh, as we are measuring the uh, vibration of any equipment we have to measure the first we have to know the what is the sensitivity of that visual sensor which we are having so the sensitivity in case of accelerometer as i am going to show you the case of accelerometer uh, as an example practically which i will show you here later on so the process uh, the change in the magnitude of the output signal per unit change in the acceleration sense the change in the output signal of signal per unit change in the acceleration sensed the sensitivity of an accelerometer is usually expressed in millivolt per gram okay millivolt per gram uh, where um, g is the acceleration due to gravity okay and uh, how it will how output will we will check the output of the system by mean of root mean square an amplitude expressed as the root mean square square root of the arithmetic mean actually um, uh, to be uh, um, arithmetic mean of a set of squared instantaneous signal value the terms root mean square is often abbreviated rms as all of you know that rms means root mean square and we form with in instantaneous values the overall rms equal to root over x i square by n i to the power uh, i equal to 1 to the power n sigma okay. where xi is the instantaneous signal value in the center uh, set of n instantaneous signal value for true sinusoidals um, waves uh, the rms amplitude, uh, amplitude is the uh, 0.7 approximately 0.7 times the peak amplitude so this is uh, how about a theoretical part of the vibration uh, what we are doing here is the mainly we have to measure the vibration of an equipment and for that the basic things which i have told you right now is the sensitivity and the output which can be measured at a part of root mean square let us see uh, i have an ex uh, arrangement over here to show you the actual uh, uh, arrangement of the vibration uh, measurement of the equipment uh, you see uh, this is the uh, vibration sensor i am having uh, this is, uh, if you see correctly is the accelerometer okay the accelerometer and um, um, this is the your vibration transmitter okay uh, and this is a 24 volt power supply unit okay and this is a signal isolator i am having a signal isolator okay so and this is the multimeter put it in milliampere <coughs> Now, um, this 24 volt output is given to the, this 24 volt output is given to the input of this uh, signal um, vibration transmitter, vibration transmitter and one of the input, here it is written the 
channel 1 one of the input is coming from the output of this vibration sensor okay uh, as I told you millivolt per gram uh, the sensitivity or the unit of that uh, vibration sensor this is uh, A or B marked and these two wires are uh, coming to the input of the vibration transmitter and uh, this is channel 1 input channel 2 is kept blank because I am having only one sensor and this is the output uh, in the form of 4 to 20 million 4 to 20 million okay. see this is written 4 to 20 million and this output is given to the signal isolator okay this is the where signal isolator and the and the additional excitation voltage of 220 volt is provided to this signal isolator which act as a buffer input or buffer output of this um, uh, hotel system um, this 4 to 20 milliampers is coming to this signal isolator and um, we are having dual output 4 to 20 milliampere over here and where I have um, connected one uh, multimeter to see the output uh, of uh, generated from the signal isolator when I create a um, when I create a vibration over here okay so let us start the experiment now when I um, hit this uh, something with any you say I am having a tester if I hit uh, this with a uh, tester it will generate a um, oscillation and this oscillation will be sent by this vibration uh, transmitter and it will um, uh, proportionately generate one um, output for in the form of 4 to 20 milliamps so which will come to this signal isolator and this um, signal isolator will buffer the uh, 4 to 20 milliam output and accordingly uh, it will set back to the controller here I am not shown any controller for that purpose I have taken one multimeter which will show the um, same output which is generated from um, the signal isolator actually uh, this 4 to 20 milliamps will go to the DCS system or your um, PLC system for that purpose now when I hit this uh, something it will create a vibration and accordingly it will generate uh, some voltage over here okay so uh, this is uh, the basic process uh, to learn uh, how to measure the vibration system okay and uh, many uh, type of um, equipment has been developed by instrumentation technology till now to measure the vibration to measure the vibration of system to measure the vibration of system so like that uh, I think you have uh, already understood uh, what process uh, I want to teach you from this um, small apparatus. Uh, the main uh, concept of this uh, video is to aware you or to train you regarding the uh, basic measurements in instrumentation which will be most helpful for you if you are uh, a trainee engineer or a fresh uh, graduate engineer or in uh, working in a, any institute or in research industry where you did not get any better scope uh, to learn all these things my um, the motto of my video is to uh, to create a self development or self motivated uh, between the student who are very much initiative or who are very much interested to know all these things regarding instrumentation system so i will come i hope i will come with um, lot of more of instrumentation system which i am have till now I want to give you all those things to you people I love all of you a lot and basically instrumentation is a very very vital part in process industry and I hope I will teach you and guide you in future in a broad way thank you from